Hi, and welcome to our Storytime Craft. I'm Miss Laura, and today we are going to be making a shiny little snail that you can hang up in a window or set up on a dresser or play with. All right, so if you come by our library, you will find our little brown bags and it will say Storytime Snail. And inside you will find some colorful yarn, um, a little baggie that will have some, a short little bit of pipe cleaner, an eyeball, I can scoot that off there. There's my eyeball. Some little colorful sequins, a CD, and a shaped colored paper. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to get our, um, Intent on here. So some other items that you might want to have with you when you do the craft is tape and glue. So for the antenna, I found that it stuck best with a little bit of tape. So I'm just going to take off a small bit. I have, maybe I'm going to take off a small bit. There we go. I took my antenna and I just folded it in half. Okay. And I'm gonna stick it on the whatever side I want to be the back. So there we go. And I'm just gonna tape it on there like so. And press it down really good. Now we're gonna turn the paper over. And I'm just gonna shape my little antenna a little bit. Now we're gonna set this one aside and we are going to start working on our snail shell. Now I'm going to show you a few different methods and how to wrap our yarn through there, okay? One of them is we kind of take it and we're going to half it so that I've got a loop up here at the end. You want it so that the shiny part is face up. We don't want this part. That wouldn't look nearly as pretty. So this is going to be our front, our top of the shell. So I just take my loop, I'm poking it through the center, and then I'm taking all my string and I'm gonna push it through that hole. And then I just pull it all the way through, okay? And you would just repeat that. So make a loop, push it through the center, and then pull all your string through. Now, if you're having a little bit of a hard time with that, another thing you could do is just take a little bit and just keep wrapping it around. And you wanna kind of pull it snug. Now by doing this method, you're gonna end up having to somewhere along the way, tie off your string. Otherwise it's just gonna come unraveled, okay? So, there we go. So what I'm doing is I'm actually going to tie this off onto one of my other little ends right here. If you want to make your snail so it hangs up, just leave a little bit of string left over and that way it can um, hang up through the windows. So this part you might need a little help with from a grown up. See like if I left that little bit of string, it could hang up and your string does move around and that's okay. So I'm just gonna finish wrapping it and I'm probably just gonna randomly take there we go. So we can do this a little bit faster. And it's actually kind of fun and relaxing. If you have more yarn at house at the house, you can actually wrap your whole entire snail if you wanted to. There we go. And then you just kind of arrange your yarn however you want it in there. So let me tie off this other end real quick. All right, so once you got your snail shell all wrapped and fixed up how you want it, now we are going to decorate a little bit. So with our sequins here, I just kind of took my Elmer's glue. It dries clear and it works really good on the, sh on the shell. Um, it didn't pop off or anything like that. You just gotta make sure it dries really good. So I'm just gonna put some dots of glue 
where I might want some of my shell decoration. And then you're just gonna add the little sequins on there wherever you want to put them. Oops, got stuck on my finger there. There we go. And it makes it all nice and shiny and pretty. And if you have some of these decorations left over, you can even add them onto your snail. So once you got your shell all decorated, we are gonna put a strip of glue along the curve of where your um, shell is gonna fit. So I kind of lined it up like that. Give me an idea. And then we just, and um, put a pretty generous amount of glue on this portion of it. There we go. And decide which way you want it on there. I think I'm just gonna make this a hanging one. There you go. Press it down. And then you're gonna have to practice some patience. Like I said, this has got to glue or dry really good. Otherwise it's all just gonna slide off. Now, the last bit is we're gonna put on an eye. So there we go. Draw a little smiley face. There she is. And like I said, if you want to, you can even add some sequins. If you have leftovers onto your snail, jazz it up a little bit. There we go. And there we go. And voila, you have a lovely little snail and to help you decorate for spring. So there you go. And as always, send me a picture on Facebook of what you made. I would love to see your little snaily creations and anything that you make for us. All right, have a good day. Bye-bye.